so I'm gonna just uh, save our scene first uh, before we uh, start working in the haze okay now I'm gonna save the scene as a haze scene so it won't be uh, overriding the other scene I'm gonna increase the height I'm gonna select my uh, film effects source go to the camera here I'm gonna push it right in the middle increase the length go to the perspective viewport to see how it is uh, looking okay I'm gonna increase the height That's good enough. Now I'm gonna go to C. The object source here, I'm gonna animate the smoke. I need the, the smoke just for the first couple of frames. So I'm gonna click N. And at frame five, I wanna have the amount of zero. So frame four, I'm gonna have 20. Actually, no. I control plus Z. I want frame just for a couple of uh, smoke for just a couple of frame here. That's what I need. I'm gonna set uh, the temperature high so because I want a lot of turbulence in it. Uh, for the simulation, I'm gonna increase my uh, turbulence to uh, one, and the scale I'm gonna increase it to eighty. That's all what I need to do. Just make sure you uh, you change your default uh, caching folder. For the spacing here, as you can see, it's uh, too big. Uh, we have uh, a big resolution here. We need uh, to lower it by increasing the spacing. I think uh, 1.5 should be enough. Actually, we could go, we even go to 2. Okay, let's leave it at 2. And I'm going to click Simulate. shouldn't take longer to simulate I'm going to just enable my preview here you could have just added a uh, 2d effect in your uh, of some smoke but since we are here let's just try to create all our element I'm going to lower the opacity here okay And I just let it uh, swirl around to fill this hole here. Or even if it doesn't fill it, it's okay. It's kind of nice effect anyway, right here, what we're we getting right now. Could lower the opacity to point zero five. And I'm going to let it just swirl around to fill this hole here. And it'll be back when it's done. Okay, so that's what we got right here. We got a couple of frames. We could just choose a couple of frames. And they say, let's uh, render. Let's render this one here. I like this one here. So I'm going to go to uh, rendering, render setup here. I'm gonna just change this one file, create a new folder, name it Haze, and call it just Haze, okay? I'm gonna save and I'm gonna render. So that's the, the first frame. Don't worry about it being pixelated here because we're gonna be blurring it out. Because as I said, it's a haze and haze shouldn't be really that uh, prominent. So that's the first frame. Let's move to a different spot. Let's say this one here. I'm gonna render now. I'm gonna just uncheck save file here and render it.
I'm gonna save. Two. There's an XR. Save it. Okay. Close it. Close this one. Actually, I'm gonna leave it open. I'm gonna just go to a different frame. Maybe right here. I render. As you can see, it's, they render very quick. Okay. I'm gonna save. As haze three. XR save okay now with all of this done we are done with all our uh, work with your film effects inside here so let's uh, move to uh, after effect and uh, just compile everything there